是。On September 4th, our good friend Pete Suska invited us out on his private boat. We had a great time and we found a lot of bluefish. We hope to do a lot more trips with Pete in the future. And stay tuned for the end where we found a bunch of bunker on the surface. I can see him swinging at it. Yeah. Just press the yeah. Did he bite me off? No way. Oh, <laughs> he drilled it on the surface. Is that a bigger one? You never get the fish, right? <laughs> You're always running the boat. What's nice about having that trolling motor this year is to having the trolling motor in my boat. I could fish so much more now. I just put it in spot lock, and I don't have to worry about it. Well, I saw you know you're taking a drift in that, and swinging it. Swinging it, yeah. You can't do that. You can't do that without a trolling motor. And who the hell wants to throw an anchor in here? But as this tide gets into full current, I don't think that trolling motor can hold my boat in one spot. Nah. nah. How many batteries does it take to? There's two, that's for two. Yours would probably need three. <laughs> you would need you would need three batteries. You have five batteries on the To get, I think mine's a 120 thrust, something like that. You'd have to go to the next one up, the Rip the Rip Terra. Because you need the extra thrust. Get all those fish.
hitting it, but I can't hook him. There, I got him. I think it's a port. Maybe it's a black sea bass. Maybe it's bass. What is that? You can drag that. Yeah, don't lose that. Don't lose it. That's heavy. That might be a big, maybe it's a big black sea bass. I'm fighting like a bluefish, I'll tell you that. I think it's a striper. I bet it's a striper. so small. Look how hard that thing's fighting. No, oh, it's, it's a blue. It's a blue. It is a blue. Yeah. Oh, they're over there on my foot. Yeah, let's do this drift. That, yeah, let's do this drift real quick. Let's see if I can get one more like this. And then I'll get you over there. Oh, look at the bait flying out of the water. Yeah, they're gonna be yeah, they're gonna move up and down this rip like crazy. Just you. Yeah. It's a little easier to manage both, especially when you're trying to manage a fly line. there now we got to go back up he's only 20 feet right here yeah I think I, yeah i was gonna say you can't drop it here you're gonna lose the grip yeah a lot of them are all right go ahead go get it between that 80 foot hole and it coming up to 20 feet. This is actually what we're running over. That's that's history. And this is you know present.
40. They're everywhere. Things about, I'm about to lose this one too because see the lines all frayed up. You can see it. Things are all torn up from their teeth. Man, I can't believe what I just saw, man. Hook, I literally I, I threw the line in the water, right? I just let it sink. Something came over and just hit it, right? I lost him. Then another one, I start reeling him, he hits it. There's like three of them with him trying to hit it. And then I reel I'm starting to reel in that one in, and then another one swoops in. He goes above that fish. Boom, he cuts the line. Cuts the line. Wow. Thank you guys, had a good time. Yeah.